Hello, girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich with your Tarot Talk Tuesday. We are covering the Page of Cups um, just a little bit before we go through uh, to the Page of Cups. Just a little update. Um, for one, I am still in a little bit of pain from uh, helping my friend move. We did that again today. Um, you know, the, the good thing about the whole situation is that whatever... You okay, Jilly? Whatever items she does not want, uh, she can actually leave in the uh, in her old house. So she can just leave like everything and just walk on into a new life, which is a very big deal um, that she doesn't have to move everything because she's lived there a, a right long lo uh, long while. So still in a little bit of pain from that i have taken painkillers it's starting to subside a little um other things going on is if you notice the a drawer down here moving it has been doing that the last like week i don't know why my filing cabinet drawer is just now deciding to not stay in but it's doing that and it's not i'm not happy about it let's just say that okay so that was the the little update, and Jelly is down there being super cute and laying down. Um, okay. So a couple things before we get started here. Uh, thank you to our patrons on Patreon. We have Sophia and Linda. Thank you, Sophia and Linda, for supporting uh, the endeavor of getting a Christo Pagan Church started and uh, and moving along. Thank you for your contributions there. Uh, I think we're about up to the point where the uh, we, we can get the SSL certificate for the website. So uh, that is something that we can do. So, and I, I, I'm going to get on the website and try to make a couple modifications. I'm trying to get it so that people can register and, you know, take part and, you know, the forum and all that because there was like this bot thing that had like umpteen thousand posts and it was really annoying because it's like posts for like some skin cream or some pharmaceutical stuff and whatnot it was really annoying it's not something that's supposed to be posted there and they kept on doing it so i removed them and uh shut it down so nobody can uh, get onto the website to even comment. So, yeah, trying to figure out a way to, uh, an easy way for everybody that wants to partake in the forum and submit questions or, you know, talk amongst ourselves and whatnot on the forum, that we can do that without some bot coming in and, uh, you know, taking over the place and just flooding everybody's, you know, emails and whatnot with, Hey, did you ever hear about this? Yeah. Yeah. Sick and tired of it. I cleared so many of them out. Anyway, thank you to Sophia and Linda for that. Um, for your contributions on that. Um, if you would like to support me as a as an individual and a creator, um, <laughs> as it is, you can go to the eBay link down below that does uh, take you to my eBay store. So you can get some good finds and whatnot if you would like to get something for your money. That is a great way to do that. Um, if you would like to support this channel and you don't have the funds to do so, completely understandable. You can always subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button right down there. Hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever new videos come out. Hit that like or dislike button. Doesn't matter to me. It all appeases the algorithmic gods of YouTube. All hell, the algorithmic gods of YouTube. And if you've done all of that, leave a comment telling me if I either miss something or if uh, you have anything to add to this week's topic, the Page of Cups. If you've done all of that and it is safe for you to do so, please do share this on your social media platforms. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the Page of Cups. We're going to start out by reading the... Um, Pictorial Key of the Tarot by A.E. Waite, one of our grandest traditions here. And it reads, A fair, pleasing, somewhat effeminate page uh, of studious and, in and intent aspect contemplates a fish rising from a cup to look at him. It is, a, it is the pictures of the mind taking form. Divinatory meanings. Fair young man? Eh, 
I, I don't usually associate people with, uh, with the cards, especially the court cards, which is a, a fair judgment uh, for people who do that this would be considered a fair young individual. Um, let's, let's move on. One impelled to render service and with whom the querent will be connected. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's in reference to the fair young man. Okay. Uh, a studious youth. News. Message. Application. Reflection. Meditation. Also, these things directed to business. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I can I, I can agree with this. Reverse uh, is taste, inclination, attachment, seduction, mm. uh, deception, and artifice. Okay, overall, not a bad, uh, you know, not 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 a bad one for this uh, for this card. And I'm not totally disagreeing with the AE weight. So, some things to look at first off here in this in this. Um, page of cups is the the individual is the page himself uh is standing on a solid ground you 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 have solid footing uh you have the water in the background remember that cups equals water and you have this individual holding a cup with a fish coming out fairly odd thing to have happen the individual doesn't seem surprised uh, maybe they intuited that there would be a fish coming out of the cup uh take note of what they are wearing uh this individual is wearing a cloak that has or an, a tunic that has lotus flowers is what it appears and that again signifies the the water element and whatnot you know the lotus flowers y'all know where i'm going with that um so just a few things to note on that. I don't have any real takeaways to, for lotus flowers except for chakra meanings. Uh, looks like the three uh, petaled lotus, which I think is is that the throat chakra. Oh, now now I'm. Oh, I think it's a. Let me look up. Hold hold please. We're gonna we're gonna pause. Okay, so I looked it up and apparently I am incorrect about the three petals. The four petals are the root chakra. The uh, third eye chakra has two different little petals that come off of it, but it's not considered a lotus. So I was incorrect about that. But the lotus flower does signify water and whatnot. So anyway, yeah, now I just look like a complete fool. I could have sworn there was so many petals on a lotus for each chakra and I was incorrect on that. And I'm willing to admit it. Okay, so a little bit on my my notes here. The Page of Cups suggests a new idea, a new opportunity. These are things that are coming out of the cups, they're they're or out of the cup, and looking at you. New opportunities coming abound. Uh, this may come out of the blue to you, so just um, you know, be ready for the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. Um, Open your mind to all possibilities, especially those that are creative or intuitive in nature. Uh, this may surprise you, um, you know, whenever these opportunities come up. Uh, start trusting whenever you're getting intuitive flashes. Uh, trust the creative process. If you have an idea for something that will fuel your creativity and, you know, be prepared to deal with that or to explore those. Test your boundaries a little bit. Um, push yourself a little bit further than what you usually do whenever you do your creative projects of any sort. Um, embrace your inner child and believe that anything is possible. This is a good one. Look at the expression of the uh, the page's face. The page is not worried. They are not sad. They are kind of smiling with a little smirk they're like oh cute little fish and you know what message do you have for me remember that the pages are the message bearers so the page is bringing you a message and if you are having the page especially in the upright position coming to you look for these messages especially the intuitive and the creative ones uh explore your creative and emotional self uh, you may start a new art class, read books about how to express your feelings, uh, because the 
cups are about feelings. Learn more about develop developing your psychic abilities. Dreamy aspirations race through your mind and you may find yourself moved by simple things. Don't be afraid to let your feelings show. Uh, look for synchronicities and signs from nature that will guide you on your path. Um, this can also indicate that you uh, you will receive an unexpected and pleasant surprise. How many times does a fish come out of a random cup? This is a surprise. This individual here um, that we see on this depicted on this card is quite pleased by this surprise. It is a pleasant surprise. So you know, look around for a pleasant surprise uh, because that may be what this is indicating. You may receive this message related to your emotions, intuition, and creative endeavors, as I said before. It might be a birth of a baby. It might be an engagement or marriage, a new love interest, or offer of a new project. So just be ready for just about anything that comes. Anything that is new, um, anything that is different, things that are you are being called to do. Especially whenever it comes to your intuition. You know, trust those feelings, um, think through them, and kind of follow where the ripples go. And uh, now for the reversed. Um, this may indicate that you're trying to keep your creative as or inspirations and ideas secret. I do this a lot. Um, you may worry that other people will steal your ideas and tell, tell you that it, it's destined to fail. You may wait until you, you've moved out of the conceptual phase before sharing with others. I do this a lot. I get very cryptic about what I'm working on. Uh, I don't tell people around me. Uh, I may tell my partner, but for the most part, I, you know, he doesn't care. Um, for the most part, I, I will sit there and I'll brainstorm things and I'll brainstorm things for months on end. The, the church is a shining example of that. I was working on, uh, developing the church and having the conceptual idea of the church for probably at least a year, uh, if not more. And the more I more more and more I looked at it, the more and more I wanted to do it. Um, same thing with I'm putting together a podcast uh, to go hand in hand with the church uh, that is going to deal in uh, looking at uh, the scriptures and a scripture study. We had a lot of fun doing that on the Crystal Pagan Sundays last year. So uh, I do want to do that again. Hold on, I'm going to get Pepsi, a little bit of my Pepsi here. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. Pepsi, get at me if you want me to hawk your ship. I'm going a little horse today. We're going to push through, and we're going to get this video done, and then we're going to get the Table Talk Thursdays done. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, and anyway, this may be the card saying, you know, you're, you're keeping things a little bottled up, you're keeping them secret. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. You know where that's from. Uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, you should. Um, yeah, anyway, Gandalf, love him. Anyway, uh, let's move on. The This may be telling you, um, you may, this may be saying to you that you may feel called to pursue a new creative project, but you doubt whether you can really make it work. Isn't it better to try something and fail than to never try and wonder for the rest of your life what would have happened? And I'm going to take this one step further, because one thing that I needed to say to myself and say to myself even whenever doing videos, is it better that it is done or is it better that it is perfect? Because there's always something to improve. Um, you know, everything is a draft. So it is better that it is done. Uh, at least then you can have it out in the world and you can share it with others. And then people can give you their individual ideas of, hey, is this good or is this bad? Um, you know, do you agree, disagree, all that stuff. It's better to have it done and out there than to have it kept to yourself and kept secret. Then you never get any feedback. 
and you may never get it out to the masses. So that's one thing that I had to sit down and have a realization with myself about whenever it came to um, the videos that I do and the concept of the church and whatnot is to, you know, finally let myself, you know, not be held back by what are people going to say about it. And then, uh, let's see, you may also experience, uh, if this comes up in reverse, you may also experience a creative block when the reverse is popping up in a reading. So, you know, this would be like writer's block or any other kind of blockage that you have creatively, creative, creatively, thank you. Um, so yeah, you may feel stuck and unable to express yourself. I know for me, writer's block is a bitch and I'm just going to fully admit to that. It is horrible having a writer's block and not knowing exactly how you, you know where you want to start, but you don't know, and you know where you want to finish, but you don't know what you want in between there. Um, and that can be so difficult to, um, to write on because you don't know how they get from point A to point Z, but you know, you have to take them through point B through Y to get to Z. You can't just get to the end. That's not a good story. So, you know, you, you have to get through those times. And this, if the page of cups is coming up in reverse, it may be telling you, hey, you have a creative block. Um, and this would be something that I would say to do with meditation and do with... Um, with uh what you call it um me meditation and incense sit there and just you know go through the entirety of the story you know what do you want to have happen in there or pull if you're a writer especially and I, I i relate to writers more than i do any other type of artistic form but if you are a writer um you know, I believe it was, it's Stephen King even writes with using tarot sometimes. I, I don't think that his stories are completely conceptualized by tarot. But, you know, pull a card for your for your uh, main character. Have them as the querent. Sit down with them. If your block is intuitive and uh, uh, what you call creatively, then, you know, get out the book and sit there with the book um, you know, sit there with your, your character, sit there with a the book to the tarot and, and all that and see like how you can make this work to get your character from point B to Y. I am a horrible one whenever it actually comes down to sitting down and writing. I can come up with a story at the drop of a freaking hat, but it's, it's like, how do I make this into a full fledged story? And it, that, that's the difficult part. And I know there are some writers out there that would totally agree with me on that one um and this this could also be that you're encountering self-doubt that you're doubting yourself your own capabilities your own uh actions your own uh the the own yeah your own way of doing things you may doubt that you're able to do the things that you clearly know that you can do um you may think that oh maybe i'm a fraud you have the imposter syndrome which i get that a lot I think, well, you know, am I just being an imposter? And and, and then I, I sit down, I'm like, no, this is, I'm I'm sharing what I believe and what I do and whatnot. Um, and the, but then I sit down, I'm like, but do I really? And the, and the answer is yes, but, you know, you can get that imposter syndrome where you're sitting there and really questioning yourself whether or not you are who you are. And it, it's an annoying thing. And this would be the um, the Page of Cups coming in reverse in your life. So that's uh, that's what I have for the Page of Cups. Um, I I'm sorry that this video was a little bit all over the place. Uh, I Like I said, I've been helping my friend move out of her house. And I'm, while I'm talking here, I'm just going to get the table talk cards out because I'm going to record those as well. Um, but I'm helping my friend move out. And, uh, yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a hard day. And my mother came out to visit yesterday. So I got to go out um, 
with my partner. She met him for the first time. Uh, they got along very well. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we, we went out to dinner last night. Had a nice time. Uh, first time I saw my mother since, ooh, 2017, I think. I mean, we talk on the phone, but uh, she hasn't been out to visit since before I left the Air Force. Yeah, that would have been uh, November of 2017. Because it was right before Thanksgiving, I think. Anyway, I think it was... Yeah, I think it was November. Pretty sure. Anyway, yeah, I uh, haven't seen her in, you know, a long time. And it was nice catching up with her. So, yeah, my days have been booked for, like, the last, like, three weeks. It is insane. And everything keeps on coming. You ever have one of those weeks where... I'm going to just take this picture down. Uh, you ever have one of those, uh, those weeks or those months where everybody is like constantly coming at you and you don't really have a day off that's been my last month so a little bit busy and a little bit crazy um but yeah that's all that i have for the tarot talk tuesday Do jelly you better not get on that altar jelly was looking at my altar and she knows she's not allowed up on it but anyway that's all that i have for tarot talk tuesday if you agree or disagree with anything that I've said today, go ahead and hit me up in, in the comments. We will uh, be looking at the comments. By we, I mean me. But I will also be doing... I should do a video. Maybe I'll do a video uh, this weekend on going through the comments and everything. And we have our Witchy Book Club series on Saturday. So that's a thing as well that's going to happen. But I haven't done comments in a while. So... Yeah, I think we're going to find we'll find out where we left off on comments and we'll go through them one one by one. Anyway, that's all I have. Until next time, may you have love, hugs and ladybugs. Bye.